Um, and it's a champion that I'm sure he's quite comfortable on. And there we are, the jungler that you talked about early game. Very typical for Memento. Something that he loves to play, something that he played a lot on, on the Kaiser. While she does typically have less clear than a Civet does, um, she can't really generate that much pressure until later on. So now, Memento has found Kadril. Spike comes down from Kadril. He'll get the blue buff. Memento will be on the chase. It flash away from Kadril, but the chase is good for Memento. Waits it on the sweep. Gets him under the tower. Memento, one more shot. Is it enough? It is! One for one trade, but first blood, two shot. But that was both junglers investing their flashes. Memento, I feel... Over Shalka with the early advantages, and Kadro looking for a gank. Odawamne, level 6, now has the slicing maelstrom. Kedro, well, not uh, regular jungle activity in the early game, um, but for Kadro, he just tries to be a lot more effective, efficient with his gank styles. Now, around what we talked about earlier, Medic, I want to see the oh, jungler invest spot side. Straight into it, the stun lock comes out, Jesper's done. And these are the kind of ganks I wanted to see. Uh, the wave was stacked underneath the tower of Shalka. Uh, Memento just up towards the top side of this fight, actually. Moving between the two lanes right now. There we go. Abadage locked up. Inferno Chains comes down. And Kissing flashes in. And Abadage is done for. And now Ignar, not in the best of shapes because he hasn't got his flash. Burn it earlier. Knocked back by Kissing. Looking for the body slam across the wall. Lands the slow. Exile jumps forward though. And the Dark Blade connects. So I have to think. Yeah. Ignar's just going to continually uh, run back towards his base. But Kissing and Kadra should have the chase here. Ignar, not going to get to the blast. Cool. Going to time. It's on the wrong side of it. Kissing will have the stun. And the. Uh, the Gragas will go down. Good stuff from XL that gets two kills in the mid lane. So I like the fact that XL wards in here. It's the second dragon of the game. Only 11 minutes in. Shalka took the first one very quickly last time. Kadro pops the undertow across the wall. We'll realize Shalka are doing it. Doesn't really have a way to react. So double That's often. Slow and steady is the game right now, Medic. Uh, I mean, that's what we saw from XL yesterday as well, but XL's trying to do something about that. Abadadi can't get away, and XL gets his first kill of the game. Once again, a good gank from Kadro right at the right time, and they'll get some turret placings down here as well. What her team comp is, she can offer a lot of value, because she can dive onto the back line, she can just kill the front line. Uh, she's a early game, you know, without taking too many risks, just by farming up well and outplaying your opponents, you are about 4,000 gold ahead. Flashes away here from x Spect. Oh, do on the chase? There's Upset jumping across the wall as well. Enough damage comes out from Upset. To the red carpet comes down as well, but Upset will survive. It's a good play from Shalka, rotating down towards the bottom side of the map. I'm surprised at Tier 1. Yeah, tier 1 on the left. I don't know why I know that. It's Earth. It's Earth, because you can't take either of the other two, but in case it happens in the mid lane, Exile caught out. Memento dunks him into the Hextech Older Maiden. Now Kissing is on that front line. That's a great equalizer across the mall. Memento goes golden. Flashes away. The turbo coming in as well as Abadaji wants to join the fight. Slicing Mastrum doesn't catch on to expect, but the Mark of the Storm does. Now Upset jumps forward as well. Jester low on the back line, down to half. Two kills for Shalka and the Baron in their sights. Good fight there for Schalke, they find a quick pick. On Will we see a blast cone change the impact of a game once again? Kadril looking for it, Realm Warp comes out, Schalke on the chase, they stand up! They don't take the Realm Warp, Kadril doesn't get in though, the Baron goes down. And secured by displaying itself in terms of itemization as well. Look at that, 2,000 between the two AD carries, you already have Ginsu's and the... Okay, My mother didn't believe me. That was also not humming. <laughs> <laughs> humming is mm, 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 mm. You have to have your mouth closed. Oh, there's a fight! <laughs> there's a fight in the bottom end. Exile pops the world end. Uh, Infernal chase as well as only one movie engaged the fight. Upset here. The world end of resurrection passive is going to time out in just a second. And Exile was just knocked back into the wall. Easy enough kill for Schalke. And that is enough action for now. Let's calm down! Elevated <laughs> slow play from Schalke the XL. I was actually going to go camping last game because it was so intense. Wait. There's a joke there. Nope, can't get it. Anyway, Dragon Ball Ignar clears some vision. Um, but if he face checks by himself, he might die. And this Baron is going to go down before he can even get close enough anyway. Well, you either man up, you die trying, and he doesn't get the Baron secured by Memento. He's going to fall after it. And he does die, doesn't get the Baron, and now Shaka will just look for the push in. 40 seconds left on Kedro. You can just split the lanes if you want to. You can all lead for Shalka. There are no options left for XL, I'm going to quite confidently say. And uh, it's just a matter of time now. Oh, Ignar! Flashed in a straight line there. <laughs> get the, a lot of damage down onto Ignar. He goes into the stopwatch, but eventually will fall. And now XL actually have a man advantage in about 16 seconds. Time momentum and upset. Getting this mid lane though. tower upset. Chased out here by Exile. Pops the killer instinct, but Exile's still on the. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a late game, guys. I can see why you were worried about the scaling for XL. Shalka going to get the inhibitor in the top lane. They get bot as well. They were going towards the mid lane. And you have to think in the 4v4, which is about to commence, Shalka will come out on top. 
So it's just a matter of time now. They're sieging onto those Nexus Towers. Four versus four. Exile is gone. It's a level 16 Kaiser, level 17 Rise. They're just waiting for the minion waves to arrive. Odoami even has his ultimate available. Will they go for the dive? Will they go for kills? Odoami chased off by Kassing down towards the bottom side. He uses the lightning rush to get away. That's the first Nexus Tower down. Ups have stepping forward, and this should just be the game for Schalke. They force XL back towards their fountain. And with their fourth win in a row, Schalke solidify themselves at the top of the... I'm going to do it again, though. Their fourth win in a row. Schalke solidify themselves at the top of the alleys. They're right behind G2. I think they had a really strong draft. I think they prepared perfectly for XL. I think that we saw Xpect's top pool perhaps exposed a little bit yeah, in terms I agree of options. That. I agree with that. Um, we'll have to see how that develops throughout the rest of the split, but can't really fault Schalke. They played everything extremely well. The only criticism you can have is that Abadagi died in the mid lane, but when three members come within three times within like five minutes, you know, that's a, that's a fine loss to have, and he still maintained the gold lead. I mean, he had 93 CS ahead by the end of the day. He was in a pretty strong spot. Give it a lot of credit down towards oh, Upset and Ignar as well in that bottom lane. We said that the bottom lane of uh, XL was probably a weakness you could expose. They definitely did that. Yep. Uh, and across the board, just Schalke looking strong. This is the sort of win where, although perhaps slightly anticlimactic for Schalke fans because it was so well coordinated, this is the sort of win that puts you on the post.